everybody. Chris is rocking three and more. Going out to launch a few rockets here. There's the dry lake bed up in front of us. So, I think it's called Red Lake. Dry lake bed. Kingman, Arizona. Get there, we'll launch a few rockets. Took a few days off this last week when it was snowing. Uh, the interstate was closed from Kingman all the way through uh, Arizona to the New Mexico border for two days last week. So I was off those days. Luckily, I was home. snow videos in the truck so I thought I'd do some rocket launches here this week to post a video or two and I know you really like the the truck wreck stuff but I don't have any right now but that's a good thing um, there was a bunch of wrecks when it snowed but obviously I missed all that so but that's good I was home where it was safe instead of on the road much better I'm lucky I'm not forced to dispatch so I can look at the weather and tell them I'm taking a couple of days off and that's what I did and the interstate was closed anyways so I wouldn't have been able to go out anyway so, but that's good I do also have some a plan to go do a gold prospecting uh, trip to make a video for to post so be watching for that should be here in the next two or three weeks and I'm going to go to some place where I usually always find gold so we should have some gold to look at possibly that'll be fun I look forward to doing that okay here we are Looks like it dried up some from last time I was here. I think we're going to try it here. Okay, I'm going to fly the ring rocket ringtail rocket. I extended it a little bit because I think the center of gravity was off some. So I extended it. So I'm going to try this. And I did want to point out <clears throat> I am flying this on a three pound uh, engine. A black powder core burner engine. So, see how this goes, what kind of altitude I can get with this. Put my engine stop in the wrong spot, so the engine sticks out. Oh well. And here we are. I'm ready to launch. In five, if this works the first time. Five, four, three, two, one. Well, that rocket's gone. Really.
I did not expect that. They have been flying. <sighs> wow. Wonder if my altimeter is still any good. Brand new. Let's see. Uh, yeah, turned off. Turned on. I guess it's okay. <sighs> Yeah, wasn't expecting that. I was not expecting that. I don't know why. Uh, okay. That's why. I don't paint my rockets. Some of the debris That's not really the after picture you want of your rocket launch because I don't even see how you could put all those pieces together and make that rocket that I had. I mean, it looks like some of it just disintegrated. There's, I don't see a way of making a rocket out of that. <laughs> Okay, that's all the pieces I could find. Huh. Yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> that was a the. I don't know what happened. I'll have to take it apart and look at it and see. Because I had been testing these engines, they were blowing up, and so I remembered leave the nozzle out if they're blowing up, so I left the nozzle out. I had a good test, and then I even flew the this ring rocket last week with one of these engines, and it flew, it was just uh, center of gravity was off, so I made it longer, made a new engine. And I figured it would work because the other ones did. I have two more. I'm afraid to use them. I guess if I get two more rockets like this, I guess. We'll see. Okay, I have this one all ready. <coughs> This has my black powder engine in it also. Um, I lit that one from down at the core end. I mean at the nozzle end. Um, it might have created too much pressure. I know you're supposed to light from the all the way up in the top of the core. But I've had success with light, lighting them down at the nozzle end. So I'll go ahead and try it with the igniter all the way in and hopefully it doesn't blow up this engine I mean this rocket so okay we'll give it a shot okay let's fly this rocket hopefully it flies okay here we go in five four three two one oh, are you kidding me Okay.
Okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Not happy about that either. <clears throat> Well, so here's everything that I could find of any fins. This and this, and here's all the centering ring I could find. There's a, another centering ring. I don't know if that's that, but there's fins must have just disintegrated into nothing. I don't know. I don't see them anywhere. I walked all around and looked. But, no fins, one centering ring. I don't know, there should be at least three more centering rings. Can't find none. Pretty crazy. Plus, that does not look like one and a half rockets. Some of it had to have disintegrated into powder. <laughs> I don't know, but anyway, at least the parachute on both of them survived, and the altimeter survived in both explosions, and it's all good. Both the nose cones survived. It's awesome. Okay. Chris's rocket tree and more. See you. Okay, I have two engines left. One is a sugar engine and one's a black powder engine. I'm going to go ahead and test both of these. I don't know if what the problem is, is that I made these engines out of a, the black powder engines out of a hotter burning charcoal because I used Eastern Red Cedar Charcoal for these engines. The ones that I tested that worked, I used just regular hardwood charcoal. I know that doesn't mean a whole lot to most people, but hardwood charcoal doesn't burn as hot as Eastern Red Cedar. So, anyways. I'm going to test these out. I dug a hole here. I'm going to put one in here. And I'll rig it up. And I'll be back. Okay. We're going to see how this one works. Five, four, three, two, one. Crap. Nope, that one didn't work either. <laughs> okay. That made a pretty sweet crater. <laughs> That's nice. All right. Okay, everybody, thanks for joining me. Chris's Rocket Tree and more. I appreciate you being here. I will pick up the pieces of my rocket and go back to the drawing board, change my formula on my engines back to the uh, just a hardwood charcoal, and I'll test them next time. Thanks for being here. Chris's Rocket Tree and more, please give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. Comment, all that good stuff. Thanks. <laughs>